Today, we have a special treat for you. We're going to be unboxing the Cabo Wolf Warrior X. Let us tell you how we got this scooter. Before Andrew and I got serious into electric scooters, we entered this scooter contest held by Cabo, and we came in second place in that contest, and our prize is what you see here, the Cabo Wolf Warrior X, and we're gonna be unboxing that right now. Yeah, do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm stoked about this. We got the styrofoam pieces. And I was told that we actually have a really cool award. So let me open this thing up before we actually even get into the whole unboxing of the scooter. Ooh, oh. look at this. Wow, fancy. So, here it is. Whoa, look at that. Awesome, man. Thank you, Cabo. We appreciate it. But yeah, we've, we've got here today, we've got the Cabo Mantis and the Wolf King. And the reason why I brought both of these is the Wolf Warrior X is essentially the baby of the Cabo Mantis and the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus or the Wolf King. And this is the Wolf Warrior X Pro version or the Wolf Warrior 10 Pro version. There's a plus version, but I don't think anybody in the US is going to be selling the plus version. From what I know is pretty much everybody's going to be selling the pro version, which comes with the Mini Motors i3 display and hydraulic braking systems. So the pro version has a Mini Motors i3 display, which is definitely superior to the QSS4 displays. One really cool thing that's different about it is it's got this different design here that has that red and black accent but it does come with the lighting system we love about the Wolf King and the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, and it also comes with a motorcycle grade horn. These things are really loud, they're really scary, so I'm actually glad that they ended up pointing it down because bikers hate scooters anyways, but it just gives them another reason to hate us even more if we use this loud motorcycle horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they also sent me a custom made Little oh, cap on there, so. That is nice. Yeah, that's amazing. Look at that. It's got the nice buttons on here that are waterproof. And then we also have some new addition to the Cabo Wolf family. And this one is turn signals. So let's kind of go ahead and power this on and see what that looks like here. Yeah, those are a lot brighter than almost any turn and signal we've seen in the past. Front and back. Yeah, front and back. And then you can turn on the other side here. But this is gonna keep going on and I, I don't think it actually ever will time out on you. There's the bright Ooh, headlight. Those are bright headlights. Yep, can't yeah. complain about that one. Those are bright. So we're playing with the lights here. The lights are pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's only working about halfway onto the strip. Um, you know, one of the things I will say, this, this is plastic, it doesn't sound or feel very durable. And then on this side, it's almost fully lit on this side, except for there's a little piece of it missing on here too. So hmm. I do think that it probably got damaged a little bit on shipping. This is, this is not the most rugged piece for an area that is you know, pretty exposed and prone to, to damage. So this one actually made that one work completely now. Oh, really? Now this light's working completely oh, on Oh, so here. it probably has to do with uh, which lights are on. Right. So this is a little bit different, where the, the Cabo Wolf King and the Cabo Wolf Warrior, you can actually have the, the deck lighting on without the main power on. This one, you actually have to have the main power switch on, and then also there's a button next to the charger that you turn on for this undercarriage lighting. We've lined up the Cabo Wolf King and the Mantis Pro SE right next to each other, side by side, so you can see the differences in size and uh, just overall. And let's talk about length here. The length looks really pretty similar. Do you want to measure it? Yeah. Let me get you a measure tip. So this is a Wolf Warrior Wolf King. It's nine inches by a little bit over 20 inches, 20 and a half inches on the deck size. And this is going to be a little bit under eight inches. And the deck size is actually a little bit longer. I'm surprised this has a little bit longer deck than the Wolf King and the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. 
that's got a 21 inch deck on here. The deck is bigger than the... Than the Wolf Warrior, Wolf King. Yeah, it's it's an inch longer. So yeah, if you see me, I have 10 and a half feet. I can ride them back to back on here, no problem at all. So I'm normally at an angle. This has some good juice. All right, so there's a reason why the instructions say no acrobatics, all right? Here we go. We're gonna show you why there's no acrobatics on this scooter. And I'm not even gonna go too fast. I'm just gonna show you up right here. Right there, so. Yeah, it's got a pretty soft rear that if you press any type of weight on that rear fender, it's gonna start rubbing down on there. Oh, see, that's a problem, dropping curves with this thing. So I don't know if you could hear that, but the fender is rubbing on that back tire even off of just curb drops. So even heavy Andrew, you know, he's rubbing. So we thought maybe light Jimmy would give it a try. <laughs> Same thing. Even slender Jimmy was able to get it to, to rub. So it's, it's not so much a weight thing, but just a design. So we'll play around with it. We'll see if uh, if there's some settings or something we can adjust to, to prevent that rubbing. All right, let's yeah, keep rolling. Let's loop. Oh, see, even that little curb I dropped off on there. So, things say no acrobatics, mm -hmm. it's right. <laughs> but I would say dropping off a curb is not so much an acrobatic, so. I like that it's got a really big deck. I like that it's got two forks on it. But the, the rear fender, that is probably the biggest problem I've seen with it. But I do love the the heavy duty kickstand that's on there. That is a rugged looking oh, kickstand. Yeah. It's really nimble. That is one cool thing about it. And the throttle's not too crazy. So on the Mantis or the Wolf King or the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, as soon as you pull that, you can get the tires to fill out. We're not at a full charge, but the, the and it's cold out. Yeah, and it's cold out, but the throttle isn't too like earth shattering where it's trying to rip your arms out. It's really nimble. Very nimble. I definitely am going to adjust some P settings and when we do the full review, we'll let you know for sure my final thoughts on this thing. Okay, it's spring, but it's freezing cold out. <laughs> but it's my turn to ride. Here we go. All right, we've, we've tested a lot of Cabo scooters and they're all kind of similar in the fact that they're powerful and they're torquey. I mean, th this is a torquey machine and uh, Andrew loves that kind of stuff. For me, I I'm more of a conservative rider. I like I like a little bit less torque, but you can see here, I'm just trying to maintain a, a, a moderate speed and uh, it's tough, it's torquey. But I do like, as Andrew said, how nimble this guy is. This thing is powerful and it's light, but it's a balanced power. It's not like the D10 that will feel like it'll throw you off here. You know, I feel like I can do these wheelies. That wheelies. No, baby wheelies on a, Baby wolf. Baby yes. wolf. Na, 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 wolf. <laughs> Nimble scooter. If, uh, if I'm coming up on some pedestrians that I don't feel like using with a horn. If I don't feel like using that obnoxious horn, I can uh, <laughs> kind of give them one of those. And you got an emergency brake. Yeah, that's right. It's the third. It's the, it's the third brake for the power, the dual fork stem. What you're getting at this price point. I mean, I'd, I'd have to wonder why I'd get a Mantis Pro. Here you get the dual forks. Um, it's obviously it's a bit more heavy. Yeah, and it's not much more heavy. Yeah. Maybe 10 pounds heavier, and then it's also got a much brighter light and horn. Okay. So it's much got a brighter, brighter light. Got the horn, it's got a brighter light. It's got a wider tire. It's got the turn signals. So it goes from a two and a half inch tire to three inch tire. I've got the turn signal on right now. Yeah, oh, that's the other thing. Uh, the turn signals are nice, they don't time out. And so if you forget to leave them on, they're just gonna keep going. We're definitely gonna have to ride this more to give you our full review. That'll be coming soon. Um, 
Yeah, but if you guys have any questions about this scooter, leave it down in the comments below. We'll make sure to check it out. 